day, 13th of August, we're on the road. Let's uh, see if we can get to Jalalabad today, not sure. Maybe a few hills in between, but uh, that's how it goes. On the road at 6.30 this morning, which uh, just had another time change, so uh, now we're uh, five hours ahead of London and four hours ahead of Copenhagen. So, but, uh, compared to last week, it's 5.30 in Uzbekistan, so to get up an hour earlier now, Kyrgyzstan. And uh, let's pull my back this morning, getting the bikes down from where we stored them. So <laughs> I now hope that goes away. So let's see how it goes. Look at that beautiful sunrise here in Central Asia. Let's go and uh, see what Kyrgyzstan looks like. Country, new fruits and vegetables. to get used to. Find the fact we have to get used to. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> this is the town of Uzgin. There's also some attraction here, but we're not stopping, we're just cycling straight through. We said our breakfast just before the river there. Now yeah, we do another 250 already, 9 o'clock, so no, we'll keep going now. Very busy market town here. <laughs> Bike on it. So, just trying to buy water here. A bit crowded, but I think there's enough space. <laughs> This area here, this is the lowlands here of Kyrgyzstan. It's probably the only day we're in the lowlands. Tomorrow we're heading into the mountains. The first part was fairly flat, but the second part of the day will be quite hilly now as we go towards Jalalabad. And you see the hills in front of us now, those are the ones we have to, have to go through. Oh, 
today on the Mongol Rally. The Mongol Rally actually is in the progress at the moment. We started in Czech Republic, I think, this year, finishing in Russia. Some climbing to do. Look, it's not so hot today that we can take on this hill here just in the heat of the midday sun here. It's quite bearable today. So we keep riding today. No uh, sleep for lunch yet. Jamie Shoes getting eaten by small chickens. Yeah. Chicks. Now oh, I just stopped here, trying to find something to eat. Didn't much to eat in there apart from some crisps that are out of date and some cookies they take. Quite good actually. And we have some bread in the back and some cold water. That's the lunch today. Mm -hmm. Now we're only 20 kilometers from Jalalabad. So I've heard there's Central Asia's best baker there, so maybe we'll go there for lunch. Those hills you can see there, actually in Uzbekistan. There you can actually see the border fence. So, very, very close to it now. I'll just break out my air way, way around the border here. Okay, here we go. Down to Jalapa. of Kyrgyzstan. This is Islamic, where the north part is more western. But you can see here, a nice shiny mosque. Just starting to enter Jalalabad now. More horses in the back of pickup trucks. We've seen all day. Well, this place is marked on Ayavalanda as uh, Central Asia's best bakery. You can see there's other bikers outside, so let's see if it's actually true. You never know. So this is what you get in Central Asia's best bakery. Looks like a custard cake, coffee, and some other things over there. We'll start with this. <laughs> so we just met some other touring cyclists. They're cycling from Beijing. There are three of the guys they met up with each other, so they're heading in the opposite direction. But just gave us a good tip that. Uh, the SIM cards that we bought the other day, they don't work really in the mountains, but this says this brand here, Megacon. He says uh, that works in many places. So for £2.50, 25 kroner, we just got 35 gigabytes of data. So and that will last a month, so that's pretty cheap. <laughs> so now we'll see if the internet works. Now we've got one of each, that's quite good. So now we try and find a hotel. Hmm. <laughs> and a man in the market there that you saw, he was guided us, well, he's walked with us 15 minutes now to show us a hotel that he thinks we could stay in. He actually speaks he, Danish because he's lived in Stockholm. <laughs> now he's helping us to helping us to find a place and you walk with us all the way here. <laughs> Extremely kind person. 
<laughs> so we can actually speak Danish to him, he understands Danish and Swedish. So we just had an interesting afternoon since we uh, arrived at the best bakery in Central Asia. Not sure whether it is or not, but uh, we had a good time there, met some other cyclists, good talk to them and a nice custard pie. Then uh, they gave us some good advice for a new SIM card and uh, a bazaar where we can get some nuts. So we went there and while Meadow was in the in the bazaar trying to buy nuts, we were completely surrounded by people wanting to talk to Jamie and me and a guy that could actually speak English and Danish and Swedish, so that was good. And uh, when we came, when Meadow came back, she got nearly kissed to death by a lady that wanted to let her stay at her house. And we nearly did that, but uh, found out she didn't even have a shower, so we needed a shower. So then we... Even though she had yeah, six bedrooms in her house, so we thought that might be a good idea. And we wouldn't have to pay anything, and she would cook dinner for us. All sounded great, apart from we just need a shower. So, uh, so then we, our Swedish friend, he uh, guided us through the town to a hotel. It's kind of Russian hotel. It's not the place we were planning to come, but it's okay. It's cheap for one night. This will be our last hotel. Uh, Hopefully for a while, oh, we're in the mountains tomorrow, well, uh, so Daddy. yeah, so that was a good afternoon. Okay, now we are starting to a new phase, a part, new piece of the world we are taking now. Maybe also this hotel is not the most fancy hotel you can find, but it's okay. So this is the, I think this is the new step we will head, uh, head there to. And we also think about we are washing in the rivers. So hmm. yeah. back to basics now, back to camping. No fancy hotels. No more fancy hotels. Camping a bit luxury cycling. Yeah. Adventure cycling has turned into luxury cycling. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> so <laughs> so And good now, roads. Now we are finished with the good roads, good hotels. Now let's go and see some uh, nature. Okay, let's go and see if we can find some dinner. Okay, today we have done 107 kilometers and a hill and I think 500 meters up or so, uphill and so yeah, so we have done a climb today, a mountain, a little mountain, yeah. yeah not just flat today. And let's finish now with the long distances because from tomorrow there's no asphalt and hills and that, so we just start with some other cyclists, maybe 30 kilometers a day. Yeah. So it's completely different from now on. Also had a lot of roads and a lot of cars. Now we get away from those. 